Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols, beaming my body. Alright guys, today I'm gonna be ranking the COD organization members from like least strongest to most strongest. And I think it's probably going to be decent. Now, I do want to point out, we don't necessarily know exactly all about the COD organization members. For example, Code, we don't really know exactly, like, how strong he is, man, because we didn't necessarily see him fight before. Hopefully, we get to see him fight, and I'll probably make a video about that later on. But regardless, I'm just going to try to rank it to the best of my abilities. All right, now, I think I should probably start with the lowest and then, like, the highest so you guys can kind of see the range and the rankings. It'll probably be easier for me. Now, first things first, overall, we understand that I was going to be the worst member of the COD organization. He's not necessarily an inside member of the COD organization. I just added him in mainly because he was like one of the biggest parts. And of course, there was like another outer member that fought against Kawaki. He was trash. Like he was only in there for one chapter. But regardless, I think I was definitely a strong ninja. He's a strong ninja on regular ninja terms. When we talk about characters like Naruto and Sasuke and other members of the COD organization, they're on a completely different tier. Al, in my opinion, as I said, as a regular ninja, he's decent. He basically sold all of Team 7, so he definitely has my respect for that. And not only that, he was a right-hand man to Kage. Now, of course, right now, he's probably not as strong as how he was in his prime, but there's definitely a possibility that he's up there still, mainly because of all the enhancements that he did have to his body. He basically said that he was out of combat for 16 years, but he was still putting on a lot of work. Now, the highest is going to be Ishiko Suzuki. I'm pretty sure there's no objection to that. Ishiko Suzuki is just like a different breed absolute monster like the strongest character that we've ever seen before in the naruto series and i'm pretty sure naruto and sasuke can attest to that as of right now because they're going up against them now the other ones this is where it starts to get tricky now i'm gonna go from left to right so of course the first one's going to be kashin koji i'm gonna put kashin koji at a decent tier I'm not necessarily saying that Kashin Koji isn't necessarily great, but in terms of battle experience and actual fighting skills, I'm going to say he's not necessarily the greatest, like he's not necessarily insane tier. The thing about Kashin Koji, in my opinion, is that his character overall is a lot better than his actual fighting skills. And that's saying something minimal because Kashin Koji is an insane fighter. He pretty much destroyed like 95% of all of Naruto's Shippuden characters, or pretty much probably like 98, 97%. The overall character of Kashin Koji and the whole mystery of him, even when we didn't really know his identity of him possibly being Jirai just the aura that he brought was absolutely insane but in terms of his actual fighting skills I'm just gonna go decent now Boro on the other hand I'm gonna also go I'm gonna go fodder right here now Boro is a strong character don't get me wrong but I think Boro he just lost and lacked a lot of potential if a person just figured out exactly what Boro's thing was like what Boro's stitch was Boro didn't necessarily have anything to counteract that. For example, Boro lost against a whole bunch of Genny. I feel like he didn't necessarily have an extra step to his game. The only time that he didn't necessarily take an extra step was of course when he lost control and because he couldn't necessarily handle himself or was under control during that particular time, I really have a hard time of counting that. Boro is a very strong character. But in terms of the Kado organization, I'm going to have to say he's not necessarily that much stronger than everybody else. The next one is going to be deeper. Deepa, now this is going to hurt my heart, man, because Deepa is one of my favorite characters, but I'm going to have to put Deepa at the fodder tier just because of the fact that he got pretty much beat by a whole bunch of Genings. Deepa is the type of character that he doesn't necessarily really care if you find out what his secret is, man, because he just flaunts it so much, and he's just basically daring you to get through his defenses. And I love that about Deepa. Deepa is just an overall cocky type of guy. That's probably his downfall and probably why a lot of people like to compare him to Urushiki as well. But regardless, to a certain level, Deepa did actually earn that level of cockiness. Throughout majority of the series, no one was able to touch Deepa. Like, people rarely landed a blow on Deepa. It was basically only the Rasengan and what Mitsuki did to him when he's basically trying to flee the scene after the first time that they did try to fight against him. Now, the next character is going to be Delta. Now, I feel like a lot of people are probably going to be a little bit in disagreement with this one. But I'm going to just have to go from what I've seen. I'm going to have to put Delta in the decent category. I'm going to have to put Delta above Boro and Deepa. In the boards of manga, Boro basically made it seem like he was stronger than Delta. And you guys would do with that what you will. But from what I've seen in the boards of manga, there is no possible way Team 7, anybody, I'm talking about Team 7 fully with Kawaki, all of them have their Karma Seal blast, and Mitsuki is potentially in Sage mode, and then Sada has all three Tomos. 
I don't see them being a character like Delta. Delta is too fast for them and way too strong for them. Like we are literally talking about a character who matched Naruto in speed and strength. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that Deep is stronger or faster than Naruto. That would be asinine to say. That would be completely ridiculous. But she actually matched Naruto. And not only that, Naruto was actually fatigued when fighting against Delta. Now, if you guys know about a character like Naruto in terms of his speed feats, it's absolutely insane. He himself is basically stronger and faster than Eight Gates might guy. And as I said, Delta matched those feats. So regardless, I think there is absolutely no way that Team 7 will be able to defeat a character like Delta. And because of that, I'm going to have to put her in the decent category. Now, some people are probably going to ask the question like, hey, why would you separate Jigen and Ichigo Tsugi? And I do want to make this clear. There is a clear, I mean, clear difference in terms of battle styles between Jigen and Ishigo Tsugi. Ishigo Tsugi is leagues ahead of Jigen. But as you guys see right here, I had to carve out a separate tier for Jigen because he's just not on these guys level. It's just impossible to lump Jigen in with these other members, these other fodder members of the Kado organization. It's impossible. So because of that, I'm gonna have to put Jigen right here. Again, Jigen's feats was absolutely insane. He fought against Naruto and Sasuke and made it look easy. Now, of course, I do have to point out, Jigen was completely exhausted afterwards, but regardless, he put in absolute work. The last known tier that we have is Victor. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I like Victor, but I'm gonna have to put my mans at the D tier. Victor is the type of character that is good at specific things. For example, when we talk about a character like Deep, he's good at a specific thing, and that specific thing happens to be what we're measuring on this tier list delta as well good at a specific thing and it happens to be what we have on this tier list if we're talking about being smart of course victor will probably be up here but if we're just talking about strength and how strong he is victor's down here i feel like victor could have possibly shown us a lot more and he probably will show us a lot more mainly because he's still not dead yet and of course we understand how he dies of course kashin koji basically destroys him so obviously victor's not on this tier but regardless, I feel like even with the other things that he's probably going to show me, I doubt he'll ever eclipse Deepa right here. I think it was just clear throughout the whole series that he just wasn't on Deepa's level. Now, Code, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have a sneaky suspicion that Code is probably going to be up here. I've been seeing a lot of people over at Code. And me, myself, I'm guilty of that too. You guys are obviously seeing me put Code on the tier, like literally with Jigen. And if that's the case, I'm pretty much saying that I expect code to pretty much be able to 1v2 naruto and sasuke i really hope that code is probably going to live up to this standard mainly because the board survivors they're hiding code and they're basically saving code for possibly a special situation i have an idea i think that code could possibly fight against boruto sasuke or kawaki in the future i don't really think he'll fight against naruto mainly because naruto had a bunch of fights already and of course as of right now he has a whole bunch of spotlight with his fight against ishigo Tsuki. And I feel like after this battle, Naruto is probably going to be out of commission. So, of course, Cold is probably going to jump in and basically try to salvage the whole plan. And then Sasuke is going to jump to his rescue. But, of course, at that particular point, because I have Cold on this level, he's going to have to have some help from Borushiki, Kawaki, a whole bunch of characters like that. And regardless, I think he's probably going to be up here. But let me know what you guys think about this tier list in the comment section below. If you guys will move somebody, let me know who you guys will move and where you guys will put him. But it's been your boy, Barbie. And we out. It's a knife.